Hi, I'm Nate and you're watching Photo Learningism. So I was working in Critter the other day and I came up against this circumstance where I'd drawn something really intricate and I realized, gosh, I wish I would have cut it out versus painted it. And there's an easy way through that. Let's check this out. All right. So here's the drawing. All right. I had done this, this flower painting and the middle of it, you can see it's transparent now, <laughs> but I had done all this detail work and when I got into painting it, I had realized I, I really wished another color was coming through. And when you put it in one color, it can be difficult to kind of tweak it and tone it uh, to the way you want it after the fact. <laughs> so what I realized you can do is you can actually convert the layer. Now, before I get into that too far, I'm going to turn my, my stuff off here. There's a tool along the left here. You have all the usual selection tools which for which you can typically select and do things you have circles you have you know, the shape uh create and you have all these things but there's even the magic wand but none of those are really going to get you all of these things accurately within a couple of clicks that was the kind of the problem to solve here so what i realized is actually happening every time you make a selection is that it makes what's called a selection mask and you can convert to one <laughs> very easily so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away this and leave just that kind of splash in the back and I'm going to bring in a fill layer so you can see it. And all you need to do really is right click on that layer and do a convert to selection mask. And that selects it for you. Now be aware that will take over that layer. You can see how that is, is now a mask. <laughs> if I were to take the selection mask and bring it down here and I want to drop it on top of that fill layer because what's happening is that it nests it on top of something um, like a mask. So I'm going to borrow that selection now and drop it on top of my fill and I'm just going to delete it and you can see now how that, oops, <clears throat> how that perfectly cut out the intricate drawing that I did without having to do any fancy selection. I just reused a layer that I wanted. Now, this is also an interesting approach where if you're going to work on cutting out something very intricate or need to cut out a pattern of something, you don't necessarily need to go through all the jazz of trying to use the selector tools to make that happen. What you could actually do is you could very simply draw out that thing that you are looking to cut out however complicated that's going to be and follow that same principle of, okay, well, this is what I want to cut out. Looks kind of like a ginger root, um, but this is kind of what I want to cut out and same idea, right? Click it. I'm going to convert it to a selection mask. And let's see, that has dropped over here. There we go. So if I wanted to use this again, I would drag that and I would nest that on top of the fill layer. I would probably want to take away the other one because I don't want to use them together. And I'm selecting the layer that I'm impacting. So just for very be very clear, the selection mask goes right on top of it. That becomes a, a nested piece of it, kind of drops over to the side, as you can see. And then I want to select the layer I'm working on. That will show me the selection and I can work with it from there. So that's really it however that is super cool because you can select it like this so thank you so much for checking it out if this was interesting give me a thumbs up also subscribe if you haven't done that already and i will see you at the next video thank you so much